Well, I'll tell you this, sweetie, nobody's gonna go hungry. And we can check Kim and Bob off the list. What? Kim's, well, she's got some sort of television affiliate meeting, and Bob's got a medical conference. Grant is feeling under the weather, so she's not going to make it either. Huh. So I guess it's just you and me and Casey representing the Hugheses. Oh, that's a shame about Graham. Yeah, it is, because I know that she and Katie are good friends. It's going to upset Katie that she can't be here. I, I hope we have enough people to even put a dent in this food. <laughs> Lily and Holden are still coming, aren't they? Stop it. I'm just testing the food, make sure it's suitable for the guests. I counted those. <laughs> Where are you, what are you doing? Where are you going? Come on, I told you there's a family party for Katie and Brad. You're expected to be here. Yeah, right, Mom. Um, is anyone going to be here my age? <sighs> nope, I didn't think so. See you later. Peace. You could have stayed to say hello. Oh, uh, come on. Let him go. A kid his age. He should be hanging out with his friends anyway. <laughs> hello? Hey, Margo. It's, it's Lily. Um, I'm... I'm sorry this is so last minute, but Holden and I are not going to be able to come to the party tonight. Oh, no. Is everyone all right? Oh, every, everybody's fine. It's just that our babysitter backed out last minute, and it's obviously very difficult to get a babysitter at this hour. So, please, I, I just hope you understand, but we have to stay home and take care of the kids. Well, of, of course I understand, but we'll, we'll miss you. We'll miss you, too. And so will Meg. Meg? Oh, she can't come tonight. She got an emergency call from her nursing service, so she won't be able to be there. I'm so sorry. I really am. Well, that's, that's, that's okay. We'll just, we'll party on without you. Please give Katie and Brad our best. I will, okay. Done. <laughs> More cancellations. Just, just Lily and Holden and Meg. So that leaves Jack and Carly and Katie and Brad. This is gonna be a swell party. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are we the first ones here? Yes. Yes. Oh, well, we brought this. We had a cheese expert on the show. I guess you did. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be regifting, but I thought it might be good party mm. food. Oh, yes, you're right. Thank you. I, uh, thank you. S Lovely. So we really are the first ones, huh? We had kind of an epidemic of uh, phone calls. Hey, guys. Come on. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Welcome. Congratulations. Hey, everybody. Thank We're you. We're so happy for you. Yes, thank congratulations. You. Thanks. Oh, people just went crazy over this wine at Metro. It's Australian. Oh, great, thank you. Never met an Australian wine I didn't like. <sighs> yeah, uh, great. This will this will go really well with the cheese that Katie and Brad brought. <laughs> so where is everybody? We were so late, we thought we'd be the last ones here. Well, this is it. Yeah, so anybody want to drink? I'll open the wine. Yes. 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 Beer. Yes. Yes. Fine. Yeah. Uh, beer. Yeah. 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 Yes. Carl, you? Beer Make, for me. Just keep yeah. coming. I'll have the beer, too. Yeah. Beer's good. It's a cozy little group. Yeah. It's not exactly the party I'd planned for you, but that's what happened. No, Sorry. it's fine. Stop it. You have no problem with Jack being here? No, like no, it. not at all. In fact, I told Brad to hire to be here. Hey, yeah, I wanted Parker to come, but he's a teenager. He thought it might be boring. Oh. Yeah, you'd be right. <clears throat> oh, Brad. No, I'm just saying this is probably might be a little quiet for someone Parker's age, my age, Bob Hughes' age. I'll put music on. <laughs> I want to thank you again, Tom, for everything you did in Parker's defense. You really saved our lives. Uh, actually, you and Carly did all the hard work, and you showed a lot of courage. No, oh, I don't know about that. I couldn't have done it without Jack. Really. And Brad and Katie, they did their share, too. They put up all that money to keep Kit in Oakdale. Yes, we know no matter who gets the credit. The important thing is that Parker didn't have to go to jail. Thank God. I do know how much you care about me. And I will never be able to thank you enough for what you've done. To Brad and Katie, may they have a long life full of happiness. Brad and Katie. Here, here. To Brad us. Brad and Katie. Take it easy there, huh? I haven't had that many. You are recovering from a gunshot wound. I'm fine. Actually, I'm glad we have this moment together because I wanted to thank you. That was nice. I meant every word. And I know it meant a lot to Katie and Brad. And it meant a lot to me. I was actually just talking about you guys. You are my shining example of what a marriage should be. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We don't shine so much anymore. 
<laughs> well, we have hit a couple speed bumps along the way. We have the evidence to prove that. Their names are Adam and Daniel. <laughs> yeah, and we adore them, we do, you know. And a few speed bumps, you're right, but we've gotten over it. We've always found our way back to one another. Ah, uh, you know, we just finally realized that at the end of the day, there's nobody we'd rather be with than each other. Mm -hmm. I know exactly how you feel. Mm -hmm. Hi, hi, Kessa. Hi, um, what, were you, what are you doing in town? Oh, I just, I stopped by to say hello. I want to let you and Tom know I'm back in town. Oh, yeah, are you for a, a, a visit or for good? Uh, you, <laughs> you don't seem very happy to see me. Oh, no, no, it's not that. I am, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, it's a, it's a bad time. Um, what is, what's wrong? I mean, is, it, is there a problem? No, everything's fine. It's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's just, um, you know, we were having some people over, and uh, so I can't talk right now. But, you know, we come by the station tomorrow, and then we'll talk next. I gotta go. Wow, you really are trying to get rid of me, aren't you? I, if I didn't know any better... Good luck. Who's outside with Katie? Who's outside with Katie? Mike Kasno. Katie's ex? Hey, you ready to go? Whatever you want. Okay. Tom, Margo, thank you again for this party. It's oh, so sweet. Oh, yeah. Well, sorry it wasn't bigger, but, you know, our hearts were in the right place. So. Hey, you know, we wish you, we wish you nothing but the best. Hey, make sure you finish that cheese. <laughs> mm. Well, thanks again. Good night, Carly, Jack. Good night. All right, take care. You make a perfect couple. Don't they, though, make a perfect couple? Well, thanks again. Let's go. She speaks, I obey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should hit the road, too, Carly. All right. Keys, please. Uh -huh. Well, thank you very much. Yes, mm -hmm. you're welcome. Thank you for everything. Okay. You're welcome. Good night. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <clears throat> We're never doing this again. Hey, hey, watch, watch, watch. How was everything? It was great. Nothing like being into a girl who's married. Of course, the marriage isn't real, but she wants to be. So she's hung up on a fake husband who's not even interested. Yeah, well, <laughs> life ain't easy. Yeah, I never thought it would be this messed up. Yeah, hey, well, hey guys, come back here and eat something. We got a lot of food. Want to eat? No, thank you. Good night. Well. Never a dull moment. Yeah. Our life is pretty easy, though, isn't it? We're lucky. You bet. Mm. But poor Katie, oh. Tell us sooner as she get engaged and Mike Kasdorf shows up in town. Not gonna be a fairy tale ending on that story. Mm -mm. Mm -mm.